Okay, I want to do a, a very quick tutorial here on how to make sure long seams that have a crossing seam line up perfectly. So I, you know, often sew without pins. I only use a pen unless I absolutely have to. But anyway, what I do is I match my seam up so you can see my two seams here on this piece and we're going to end up sewing this together and down the side seam here. So this is a, a miniature shirt uh, pattern that I'm testing. Anyway, so this, this is going to be your crossing seam that runs across your body horizontally. And obviously we want to make sure they match up perfectly. So here's what I do. As usual, it just comes down to basting, but you can do it on your machine very quickly. And you won't have any problem keeping everything lined up. So the main thing you want to do is make sure wherever the seam is crossing that that point is lined up perfectly. So we'll put it down. And my seam allowance is a half inch. So what I'm going to do is line up my half inch mark. And I'm just going to do a very quick tack here with just a few stitches. So that's all I need right there. And what that allows me to do is instead of ripping out a whole seam when I've misaligned it slightly, um, just do a few stitches and then look and make sure everything's lined up. And if I'm looking at mine right now, it's not lined up. So all I have to do is just pull my stitches out. And since there's just a few stitches in there, uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, I can do it actually with my hand. So I'll take them out, just like that, and I'll do it again. So this time I'm going to take the time to make sure it lines up really nicely. And the way I'll do that is I'll take a pin, and this is if you're having trouble. I find the thinner stuff is oftentimes harder to line up than the thicker materials like coating. Uh, those kind of fabrics the thicker it is for whatever reason the easier it is to line it up so I've got it the pin through one seam I take it through the, the back seam on, on the uh, back side and then I go back go back through the seam there and make sure I'm going back through the seam on the front and I'm not so I'm going to move this seam over And now I'm going through both seams. So I'm going to flatten that out as much as possible. Usually what I would do is just go ahead and sew it again. Um, if I'm off a little bit, if I have to do it a second time, I can nail it 99.9% .9 of the time. But I'm just showing you, if you really want to make sure that it's lined up, put a pin through the seam on each side coming in and out, and then sew it and just put a few stitches in it to tack it down. Just like that. And we'll have a look this time and it should be lined up. And we're lined up perfectly. So once I do that, all I do is sew my normal seam and everything will line up. So I'm going to line this up down here. This is muslin. It's not cut perfectly along the edge. Okay. Everything's tacked together now. Here we go. Grab my other end here, line everything up nicely. And we're off. Now we're just going to sew over those existing stitches. And just keep on going.
Okay, let's have a look here and see what we've got. Again, it's only a half inch seam, but if you come down through there and you look, our seams line up perfectly right there on the edge. So just put, it only takes like three or four stitches uh, in that crossing seam there. And then you can quickly look at it like you saw. If there's a problem, you can pull them out with your fingers, do it again, uh, use a pen if you have to, and you should be good. Um, but the more you do this, the easier it is to keep everything lined up. You'll get, you can just eyeball it and then stick it under there, do a few stitches, look at it real quickly. But anyway, that's a quick tip for you. Uh, a lot of these tips come from me having discussions with other people that are sewing or beginning to sew. And, um, you know, we get in discussion about how I sew and if I don't use pens, how do I keep these crossing seams lined up. Uh, it's not rocket science, just little techniques like this uh, that will make your life a whole lot easier. So give that a try. Even if you pin, uh, that will make sure these crossing seams line up perfectly every time. So give that a try. Let me know the results. And as usual, let me know if you have any questions. And that's it for now. Take care.